All right, Scorpio, welcome to your weekly horoscope for April 27th through May 3rd. My name is Athen. All right, so we have the full moon this week on Sunday at the end of the week. We actually enter into this week on the uh, third quarter phase of the lunar cycle here at the top of your chart. Then as the week progresses, uh, we will get closer to that full moon energy, which is involving your 12th house. It's where the full moon's going to be. And so there's a lot. Of, there's been a lot of new beginnings, I think, shaping up relating to health, routine, diet, day-to-day activities, crafts, you know, um, improvement, self-improvement, helping others improve, all these things that are sixth house related. And so now it's the culmination point on Sunday. So continue moving forward with a lot of these sixth house matters, and you'll find that culmination uh, more so. And so that culmination in the 12th is essentially about, you know, spirituality. It's about tranquility. And that's the nature of the sixth house when it comes to a fruition is once we have that health or that everything's taken care of on the day-to-day level, well, we realize, wow, we have a lot of extra free time or we're feeling very good and we're able to connect to spirit. We're able to connect to God or the universe, however you see that. And so that's the tranquil energy. So as the week unfolds, see how you can bring in more of this tranquility, patience, flow, trust, trusting the divine process in what you're doing and releasing. You know, the key is balancing because you're still going to have a lot of the sixth house stuff, which is very practical. You know, it's very much about taking care of things, organizing things. So you want to find that balance, especially as you get close day involving you know the uh, routine the structure the discipline you know everyday you know day-to-day stuff with the alone time the tranquil time the relaxation the flow in the whole process so that's essentially what it is just bring in that flow into the whole process make sure you're getting that rest and relaxation but either way it's a culmination point of that it's also an awareness point so i think you'll be very aware of the spiritual elements of you know your life basically uh towards the um the weekend and then also a culmination for those of you who have been perhaps working on something behind the scenes or relating to the 12th house over the past few weeks or over the past six months when we had the uh, new moon in that 12th house of yours so that's going to be the energy as we get closer to the weekend but um, this week is still very much about that sixth house because uh, we have all the aspects most of the aspects here involving either the sixth or the seventh the seventh which is about relationships so it starts on uh, Monday and Tuesday when Mars is sextiled by Chiron then on Tuesday that Chiron squares up to Venus Then on Wednesday, this Neptune sextiles up to the sun. So a lot of energy here at fourth house, which is about home, family, and sentiments and emotions, is hell. It's like assisting you. It's assisting this whole process of the sixth house and of the seventh house of relationships. So with Neptune and Chiron, this has been that it's uh, you know it's this flow with the emotional side of life, you know, and having this presence. You know, Neptune at the bottom of the chart is about having this sort of spiritual foundation in your life through your feelings. And this, of course, can be maybe, you know, things relating to home and family on that level, too. But it it comes back to that element of flow, comes back to trust, surrendering. And all of that in that area has been very healing for you as well with Chiron transiting that fourth house of yours also. So that element bring into the week monday through wednesday that's going to support a lot of this stuff again relating to the self-improvement and relating to your relationships because there has been a lot of emphasis on relationships lately and um, on thursday we're going to have mercury shifting into that seventh house of yours emphasizing it even more but the the ongoing element of relationships is because of this uh, you know very strong sort of Mars getting closer to the seventh. Venus has been there. Mercury's now there thinking about it. So you've had this enjoyment with one-on-one connections. You've had this, uh, you know, the the understanding that there's this, uh, you know, to and fro communication and how important it is in life, whether it's relationships or one-on-one connections or anything else that involves basically uh, two people coming together on a mutual, with mutual respect, on mutual ground. So whatever that is, it, it can Uh, It is an opportunity for it to be very enjoyable. And I think on Thursday with Mercury going into it, thinking more about it, really rationalizing it, communicating a lot more through your relationships. And so as uh, the next couple weeks unfold, Mars, your ruler, will then go into the seventh. 
then the sun will go into the seventh, which will further exemplify that seventh house, which again has been important. So supporting you there too, supporting your relationships when you flow, tap into your emotions, bring your emotions into, you know, that's a challenge too, bringing the emotions into the relationships. You know, that's always this thing with the natural square between the fourth and the seventh house. You see, so that's Monday through Wednesday. Then on Thursday, that Mercury shifts into the seventh, shifting things further into more of the relationship side of things. Now, we don't have any aspects between Thursday and Saturday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we have the opposition, which is the challenge of the week between Mercury and Saturn. So there's this opposition here with these two planets. And, uh, as we get closer to the weekend, there will be this importance. And so what it's been, it's been Saturn in your first, which is helping you get very disciplined. Maybe you guys have assumed some responsibility over the past few months. Maybe there's this level of maturity that you're embodying, this patience, this prognatism, or maybe others are seeing you this way. Uh, but whatever it is, stay connected to that Saturnian approach to things, to the expansion of your life and your opportunities. That's the first house. It's your self-image, but it's also the beginning of the rest of the chart, which is the opportunities in your life. So keep that grounded perspective Saturday and Sunday, and you'll see that helping and assisting you with whatever it is you're involved with regarding relationships towards the tail end of this week when Mercury goes into the seventh. And it's the classic example of balancing self with other, you see. So balance whatever it is you're doing on that, you know, with your goals, your ambitions in that very Saturnian way with this new, you know, thinking and communicating and lightheartedness taking place in your seventh. Because Mercury uh, isn't a friendly sign in Taurus. So Mercury likes to be in Taurus in your seventh house, communicating, sharing ideas, you know, with others. So that's going to be the balance there. And like I said, we have that full moon here on Sunday. So that's going to be, again, this culmination of the peace and presence. And as the week unfolds, bringing more and more of this tranquil energy into uh, your everyday experience here with all this new stuff you've been working on here relating to the sixth house, uh, you'll find you know that balancing point bringing in that harmony and that awareness of the more uh, spiritual and deeper elements of life. All right, so I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching. If you're new to this form of astrology, Sidereal, do check the link down below. Also, if you'd like a personal reading, because this is just the planets in the sky. So if you'd like to see how they're aspecting your personal charts, do check out my uh, sessions at the website. And uh, yeah, have a fantastic time. Thank you again for all of your support. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.